Appaloosa is Catholic had a strong year in 2017, finishing 7-3, and three, but failing to make it out of the first round of the Division Four playoffs. In our latest edition of the Super 16, Seth Lewis introduces us to a Vikings tight end, Adam Purser, who will be a part of any plans for a deep postseason run. He's a guy that's physically tough, a uh, mentally tough guy. You, know, you, you could tell he's used to being out. If you ask Appaloosa's Catholic tight end Adam Purser what's his favorite sport, he'll be quick to say fishing and hunting. Not only because it's a great way to relax, but the outdoors can also be a great teacher. Hunting and fishing always, it humbles you. So whenever you do something good, you don't, you don't want to brag or show off or nothing. You like, you like to humble yourself. After a breakout season his sophomore year, that lesson would come in handy. This person finished 2017 with 17 catches for 276 yards and four touchdowns. I expected to get a lot more passes, but as the season came to it, I really just, it wasn't all about the passes. It was about blowing open holes, getting a pass when I could. And if there's something Purser doesn't mind, it's getting his hands dirty. Through his numbers and blocking, Purser was named first team all parish. But even that doesn't truly measure his value for a Vikings offense that averaged close to 30 points per game. Because of his ability, the guys around him, they find a lot of grass to make plays because he's a guy that, you know, he opens up the, the outside part of the field because he's such a good weapon on the inside. At 6'4", 248 pounds, Purser has ideal size and athleticism for the next level. He already has offers from Southern and Southeastern, but the Vikings plan to showcase him even more in 2018. We're very mindful of the fact that there's certain guys we got to get, you know, a certain number of touches each game for us to be successful. But Purser's athletic prowess extends further than just the football field. As for OC baseball, he was named first team all parish at utility as a pitcher and first baseman. This year was kind of like my first year getting to play the field in high school. So this year it was kind of new, just getting everything down, but I, I played it all my life as a kid, so I mean, it just came pretty natural. But no matter if on the field or diamond, it's one unifying factor that helps him drive for excellence. The competitive nature of just you and me, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm not going to let you beat me. In Opelousas, Seth Lewis, KTC Sports. SEC Media Days.